Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create the demo project from a custom hardware board. From Vivado, navigate to the FPGA development kit location. And going into the script subdirectory, from the script directory, run the tickle script. Now the script will load the custom hardware boards create the project and create a demo block design, bring in some of the features of the board and create a wrapper. Then use the wrapper as the top file. Right now, the Vivado is running all the IPs inside the block. Once this is done, all the projects are ready. We can take a look on the block design. So this block design just as a demo project, which bring in some interfaces of the board, include the LVDS capture block, and then the LVDS makes the dual link into a single twenty-four bit RGB data, and output this. 24-bit RGB data to the RGSB interface on the board. There is a edit block that serves as the edit interface of the LVDS input. A clock wizard bring in the crystal clock of the board, create a 100 mesh system clock as the reference clock of some of the blocks. From here, you can just generate the bit stream and load to the board for texting or you can bring in some more features for example we have some other blocks functional on the board right now the 24-bit rgb data only output to one of the rgsb channel of the board we can bring in another one all the bots hardware interface already defined in the board file so you can just drag this board interface to the block. The interface of this 24-bit data is Xilinx default video interface. It's not allowed to connect one master to multiple slaves. So we create an IP block that can do so. The IP block is configurable from 1 to up to A channel. We will use 3 for this demo. Now we disconnect this connection. Bring the video to this distribution block. Refresh. Now, one 24-bit data is output to two RGSB. We can also bring in a detector to show the horizontal and vertical resolution of the incoming video. The output of this block 
can be bring to other video interfaces. For the demo purpose, we just bring it to a chip scope. We can also show the horizontal resolution and vertical resolution. Now you can save the block and generate the base trim. While the interface is defined, the LVDS capturing block has two clocks output. That's okay on the warning. And we don't need this Branking signals from the connection, that's fine. All the physical pins already defined in the board file. You don't need to manually input the pins as a constraint file. The IP blocks also come with timing constraints defined, automatically bring into the project. Now that this stream is generated, we can bring it to the real board for a text. The custom board is installed in a PC. As you can see, once the PC put up, a custom monitor is attached to the system. We set the edit mode as 720p60. This custom monitor serves as the display port output on the system and convert it to RGB outputs. As you can see, a 720p monitor is attached to the display port. The timing works fine. The resolution is showing here. That's it for today's demo. Hope you enjoy and see you next time.